Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Nate Moore. This is MooreSolutionInc.com's 186th Excel video. Today we're playing with count if. Remember last time we did sum if and sum ifs? Count's actually a little easier, and let me show you why. What I have here today is uh, just an excerpt from my uh, appointment schedule. I know some start times. I think I've got three different locations, a couple of different appointment types that I've thrown in here to play with. And what I want to know is how many of my appointments start at 8, how many start at 8.15, how many start at 8.30. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a formula over here that looks for that. Again, we're going to go to the function arguments window. And remember, in sum, if we had to worry about a sum range and a criteria range, well, there's no sum range when we're counting. All we're going to do is look at a range and count things that meet this criteria. And uh, don't get too worked up about the, what the criteria is. There's some time tricks going on here to count what's 8 a.m. and what's 8.15 and 8.30. But at the end of the day, what we're doing is we're saying, hey, look at the range A4 to A20. So we're going to look down there. And in this range, show me the ones that start at 8 a.m. And the 8 a.m. thing is um, stored as .33333 in Excel. But it's formatted to be 8 a.m. And so it's going to find 8 a.m. over here and 8.15 and 8.30. You can just copy the formula down. So count ifs pretty straightforward. Show me where the range is and count everything that meets this criteria that I've just shown in E5. And again, why did I do E5? So I can copy this formula down and here it's going to look at E6, here it's going to look at E7. Count if is pretty straightforward and count ifs is not bad either. What I can do over here is just say count ifs and all it's doing is saying, okay, count the cells that meet, this time I've got three criteria. Criteria number one is A4 to A20. I want the start time to be what's in E11, 8 a.m. I want the location, B4 to B20, to be the central location, what's here in F11. And then the criteria for range three is C4 to C20, the appointment type. And I just got to scroll down here so you can see it. And there is the appointment type of new patient. So what Excel is doing is it's going down through this whole list and counting things that meet three criteria. It's got to be 8 a.m., it's got to be central. It's got to be a new patient, and I've got one of them. And I've got one week post-surgery appointments. I don't have any of those in the central location at 8. Um, in fact, I don't have any of them at 8, 8, 15, or 8, 30. And at a glance, I can easily tell what my morning looks like with this kind of count ifs function. The other thing I wanted to show you, then this is true for some ifs as well, but there was plenty going on in some ifs, so I saved it for this video. Look at this uh, cell here. What I've got is a lowercase s and the asterisk, which says, find me anything that goes after an S and, and put all those here. And so it's the very same thing as putting Southwest there. And the advantage and the reason I showed you that is you can use what Excel calls wildcards. You can use a question mark to represent one character or an asterisk to give me everything that goes uh, before or after a given character. And it helps you with your lookup. If you've got multiple things that you're looking for. I want, I've want. i got three different type of pre-op visits and they all start with pre-op but then they have pre-op visit or pre-op this or pre-op that. What I can do is I can find all the pre-op visits if I do pre-op and a star and that asterisk will help me find what I'm looking for. That's what I wanted to show you about count ifs. It's a really powerful way, you know, in a scheduling application to say here's how many appointments I have at different times of the day. I can break those out by location, by type of appointment, all kinds of things based on this count ifs function and just doing multiple criteria. That's what I wanted to show you today. Stay tuned next time. I got one more coming. It's called average if. We'll play with that conditional averages in another uh, application next time. Thanks for watching.